Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of a fun review um, because uh, the other week I found this little UST dog multi-tool out there on Gearbest and I thought yep I'm going to buy it because I like um, things like that, you know, little interesting little gadgets and gizmos. And not only that, uh, many years ago Mrs Rathbone and I had a dog we called Rolly. He was a little well, little. He was a uh, golden retriever Labrador cross. Very nice dog. Uh, very well mannered. Very well temperamented as well. You know, he's a lovely dog. He really was. Um, he passed away many years ago now, which is a shame. We did used to love him. Here's a picture of him for you guys to look at. There we go. Yeah, so I thought um, I'd buy this little fella here. Um, tell you what, shall we take a closer look at it? Okay, here he is. He's got a nice straight back to him. He's pointing, pointing at something. Um, you can see he's got an imperial ruler at the top. Then we've got a selection of uh, little spanners. We have a screwdriver on his nose here. And just here we have a bottle opener and a little file going on as well. I think you could probably use his tail as like an awl for making holes and we'll find that out in a moment when we take him down to the workshop. Right, let's just run through a few doggy dimensions. Um, overall length, I measured him at 81.4 millimeters. Uh, head to toe was not very easy to measure at all, but I measured it roughly at 44.7 millimeters. Roughly, that sounds quite precise to me. Uh, and he's two millimeters thick. The ruler on his back appears to be uh, quite accurate too. How much does the little fellow weigh? 21 grams, all right, 20 grams. Or three quarters of an ounce. So just a little fun item today then. Um, I say we've got a screwdriver here, bottle opener, uh, this file, does it work on me nails? Yes, it does. I wonder what else it'll work on. We'll try it in some wood when we take it down to workshop. Uh, try this, uh, this tail there, looks like it could be used as an awl. I say we've got an imperial measure here. His little feet, I don't know what else you could do with his feet. I know this is the bottle opener section here, but um, they're not screwdrivers, they're not set up as screwdrivers at all, they've not been filed or anything, um, or machined to suit, but his nose certainly has been uh, machined to use as a screwdriver. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll take him down to the very cold workshop and uh, see what he can get up to. Alright then guys, so here we are in the workshop with a little uh, dog multi-tool. Uh, see what we can do with him. I think what we'll do is try him out as a screwdriver. Now his little nose is uh, just set up as a flat bladed screwdriver but I've found out it will actually take this little uh, Phillips screw here and we've also got a little uh, slot headed screw as well. So we'll just um, disengage him from the wood, put that down there, we'll make a hole about here somewhere I think, be a good place for it. There we go. <coughs> I'm going to pop the uh, slot headed screw in first, get it started. Then we pop his little nose in there. Back out a bit so you can actually see I'm using him. Oh, it's going to fall over, but there we go. Look at that. In goes the screw quite nicely, too, guys. Doesn't appear to be any problem there at all, really. Apart from how do you get out of him? Because he's a. Uh, it's a funny shape really to use as a screwdriver and I can feel his little tail digging into the palm of my hand. Alright, so that one's in. Let's uh, try the little Phillips, make a hole more or less next door. Pop it in, get his little nose going. He's a funny thing to hold, he really is. I'm sure you can see there, it's uh, going in quite well, so he's quite good as a screwdriver. I'm sure you could probably use him on a slightly bigger screw than this, but um, it's not doing too bad at all. As I say, it's just awkward because there's little tail there. It does tend to <coughs> dig into your, uh, your hand. Right, in. he's fairly decent at putting screws in. What about the spanners? Let's try a spanner. Oh, 
Okay then, so we'll try this little uh, M4 nut and bolt, I think it is. It's all nice and loose at the moment, just run him down a little bit, like so. Here comes uh, the dog, multi-tool. On it goes quite nicely. Tighten him up. And you can see I'm able to get quite a bit of torque, blimey, yeah, quite a bit of torque on that nut. That's done it good and proper, actually. Right, can we get it undone? Yep, there we go. Brilliant. Okay then, he performed very well in the workshop, so I suppose what we better do is we better hand him over to Mrs Rathbone in the kitchen to see how good he is at opening bottles. Good lad, good boy. <laughs> this is the doggy bottle opener from Gearbest and uh, you hook the cap top with his little front leg his towel's digging in my hand Yeah, you did it. Yeah, it was quite easy, but it's ripped the... Look. Oh, yeah, ripped the bottle top yeah. again, has it? Well, oh, yeah. It's two goes, so it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Well, he's a very well-behaved dog, isn't he, guys? I mean, he's done really well for me in the workshop. He's uh, opened a bottle nicely for Mrs Rathbone. The only thing I haven't tried out, and I forgot to try while I was in the workshop, was filing a bit of wood. So I've got this little bit of wood here. Let's give it a go. See what to see what happens. Um, I think you can see it's all like uh, rough around the edges there. Let's give it a go. I think you can see all the bits falling off, can't you guys? Hopefully you can. I can certainly see them falling off. Alrighty then, so his little file works as well. That's good. Alright, I um, purchased this myself from Gearbest and what I'll do is I'll put you a, an affiliate link up down below if you want to uh, go along and take a look at him down there. Um, at the moment I think he's £1.61. Um, so I say go along uh, via my link and you can see the price and availability in your country if you want one. Uh, you can, there is a hole here, you can actually hang him on a key ring too if you wish to, or a little clip of some description. Quite an interesting uh, fun item there guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little review. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. You can click like and you can share it with your friends too. You can uh, follow me on Instagram and you can help the channel either with my Patreon page or my special Gearbest link. Uh, I have links to those links are both down in the descriptive text below. Uh, if you, especially the Gearbest one, if you click on that, you purchase anything you like. I'll get a, a small commission from that per, from that purchase, uh, which I plough straight back into the channel to bring you uh, other interesting bits of kit. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you'll pop by again soon. And uh, this little fella and I are off out to play. Then you want to go and play? Then come on in. Let's go. Rough.